I know that you, you I gave a really beautiful touching speech in Toronto. We were there and spoke about your brother River. What do you, how did his advice kind of impact your career in terms of, how, how did it affect you in the decisions and everything you've made in your career? First of all, I had somebody write that, you know, I formed that out to somebody online. Really? Yeah, there's a great place called um, emotionalpersonalspeeches.com. And, <laughs> and you just sent, you just sent I in like for a one couple second. Of, So you're good, you're really good. And there Give was him a the teleprompter <laughs> and, I and I read it and that was that. I don't believe you. Um, yeah, I think, the, I think it was a period in, in my life. I, I, I started acting when I was very young. Yeah. And... Uh, and as I became a teenager, I, I, uh, I, I wasn't interested in the kind of roles that were available to teenagers at that time. Um, or maybe available to me, maybe they were available to other actors and they just weren't coming my way. Uh, and so I, I had just grown kind of disinterested um, in it. And um, I think that he just gave me a lot of a lot of confidence, um, and was just insistent that it was something that I was going to do, and um, it was hard to, to to deny it because he seemed so certain. Um, and yeah, I think it just gave me the 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 confidence to to pursue it. An eight minute standing ovation in Venice. That I don't remember the last time that happened. That had to be a pretty crazy feeling. Um. Yeah, it's awkward because you you don't know what to do. Right, it's um, a long time. It's it's a it's a long time. It's unnecessary, <laughs> um, but you know. You lost fifty two pounds for this role. I mean, it, there's that one scene you see your back and it is just it's ridiculous. Amazing. But the de deprivation and hunger must kind of mess with your psyche a little bit. Does that play into it at all? Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course. I mean, I look. I love. Um, I love studying, I love research, I love reading books, but there's something about actually feeling something um, that just nothing else really comes close to. You know, you're in a perpetual state of, of, of hunger, and, mm -hmm. and I think in some ways um, he is for like a hunger for the kind of adoration that he craves. Mm -hmm. Um, he's somebody that is in need and wants to like consume and have, um, and so I think that it, you know, I didn't really know it going in. I know that was going to be such an important part of the character. What about the sinister laugh? I mean, how do you how do you nail that? What's great about making movies is you get a lot of chances to try and get something right. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do ten takes. Maybe if you're lucky, for me, I would get one that would work. Yeah, I was there, I, but I don't think I ever nailed it. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.